when I moved to New York, I wanted to get back in the music industry, but I was at that weird point where I was like, I was making decent money at my other job, so I wasn't too proud to be an assistant, mm -hmm. but not qualified to be a product manager. So I was interviewing for jobs and I had a bunch of assistant opportunities and I looked backwards and I'm like, I should have just taken it because you could work your way up. But I just kept thinking there was something better, but I wanted to do what Rifkin was doing at SRC, kind of marketing music and kind of playing the corporate side and the artist side. Of course. And, and I met Rifkin and he just gave me the cold shoulder. He's just like, why are you here? And I'm like, for a job. <laughs> and he didn't even open the door for me so he wasn't uh, he didn't he didn't give me the opportunity so in my mind I'm like all right now I want to compete against this fucker so I'm like fucking Puffy's the platform and so in the back of my mind I'm thinking Puffy a week later I'm in in Miami at a tennis tournament that my friend was hosting this VIP suite and Jeff rolls in there with Evan that owned Tough Break from my first job so he introduced wow. me to, to Jeff so it's kind of ir ironic how all the pieces tied together and then I just hung out with him. Nothing really happened. I'm like, you know what? That's the, that's my entry point right there. So I cold called Jeff, and he says, Yeah, come up to the office and let's talk about it. So I presented the idea. I said, Look what Rifkin's doing. Puffy's a brand. Like this guy is. People are way more interested in Puffy and the artists that you guys have. You guys have a better platform. I can be the bridge between corporate America and the artists and creating, you know, money making opportunities. Uh, just not a, a job at a record label can create a new vertical within the business. And the chef's like, yeah, I like that. He goes, well, you know, put together a plan and let's sit and meet with Buffy. So a week later, we got a meeting with Buffy and I take him through my version of a business plan. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. This is Puffy? Yeah. Right there. Only yeah. Right. Every, every, yeah. And at the very end, I put $2,000 a month plus 10% commission. So I'm like, God, I'll show them that I'm all in. Like, I only need you know, two grand. That's just like enough to pay rent, get a bagel and a water if I'm lucky. Mm -hmm. uh, five days a week, not seven days a week. And so he's like, $2,000 a month? I thought he was going to laugh. You know, he pulled up and his, you know, he had like the first convertible 650 and he was flossing. And I thought he'd be like, no one can, you know, what are you going to do with $2,000 a month? He's like, you want me to pay you $2,000 a month? I said, yeah, I want to show you how committed. He goes, fuck you. You eat what you kill. <laughs> he goes, I'm not paying you shit. You eat what you kill. And if you don't want to do that, then I'll get someone else to do it because I already have this idea. <laughs> I said, all right. I go, well, how do I pay my rent? He goes, that's your playboy. That's your problem, playboy, not mine. <laughs> so Puff was a shark. Oh, yeah, he was a bitch. Back then. <laughs> yeah, he was a bitch. So I'm just like, all right. So I said, how many times in your life do you have this opportunity? I said, fine. I said, I just need a desk and a phone. And if Je if I need Jeff to come on a meeting with me, have Jeff come with me on a meeting. And he said, all right, cool. Jeff will set you up. And that's the deal. You eat what you kill. Yeah, you're speaking his language at that point. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that sounds like it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.